Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? Welcome to Muse Day Vlog. How you guys doing? I am on my way down to the post office this morning. We sold the iMac and now I have to go and ship it. Um, unfortunately, I can't get a ride because Scotty's busy and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to transport a 29 pound, very large box down to the post office. I decided to put it in the trailer. It's a little sketchy because the trailer won't close. And I'm a little bit afraid to ride it all the way down there. So we're probably gonna end up walking my bike with the trailer most of the way down to the post office. It'll work, we'll get there. But I don't want it to fall out, smash or break or some ridiculous thing like that. So God, we have to be careful on the way there. So there you go. I can't carry it down because it's not that heavy. It's only like 29, 30 pounds, something like that. It's not that heavy, but I had dental work done last week, which is why we missed bonus clip Thursday because I was in pretty rough shape on Thursday and really was not feeling too well at all. It just shifted in the trailer, it made me super nervous. I really wasn't feeling too well at all last week. So, I went into the dentist on Friday and she did two fillings and an extraction. Uh, but the tooth she was extracting broke, which required me to, like she had to drill it into pieces and then dig out the pieces with this spoon looking thing. And my mouth was insanely sore for the entire weekend. She also put me on anti-inflammatory steroids for a few days um, just to prevent swelling and inflammation so on and so forth. The steroids can cause um, high blood pressure. Since I have somewhat high blood pressure already, not really high, I'm not on medication or anything for it, but it does tend to be somewhat naturally high. Um, I was to take it easy for a few days, no heavy lifting, uh, no strenuous activity, stuff like that. So I had to take it as easy as I could all weekend. Um, the steroids were only for a few days. I'm feeling much better today. I don't think I'm gonna take any more today it's just for two three days she said which I've done so it feels okay today it doesn't feel too bad so I think we're gonna skip that so we'll just head down to the post office and get the iMac shipped out bit of a fond farewell cool beans we made it to Canada Post with the iMac and it's time to bid a fond farewell to the iMac she's been a good computer we've made lots of memories and my first Mac and we've made lots of memories together. Time for her to go to a new home and make more memories with more people. And we can move on and make more with the MacBook Pro. Cool beans, this is gonna hurt a little bit. This is probably gonna cost me like 90 bucks to ship. Cool beans, all done. It is on the way to its new owner. I also picked up my package. They came and I got a parcel card in the mail today. I'm guessing that's the new laptop stand. That I thought was gonna be here last week, but hasn't made it yet. So that's probably the new laptop stand So there we go. The iMac is on its way to its new home With Ramsey. That's his first name the person who bought it. So his first name is Ramsey Hopefully he gets many more years of enjoyment and pleasure out of it Cool beans didn't cost as much as I thought I was thinking it was gonna be like probably 80 90 bucks It was 77 bucks. So it wasn't too bad actually Considering the size and weight of it, I thought it was going to cost more. There's a bunch of new forms and stuff you got to fill out now, though, uh, which took a little longer. Usually, you just fill out the one form at the thing, but apparently, she has to put it all on the computer and stuff now. Um, so that's more complicated. There's a Porsche. Just thought I'd point that out. There's a Porsche. Um, you apparently, you have to fill out a bunch of forms and stuff, put, type everything into the computer and stuff now, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But there you go. It took me like 10 minutes, but all done. On the way. Cool beans. I gotta go to the drugstore and buy some sunscreen. So, there you go, I'm out of sunscreen. I spend a lot of time outside riding around on my bike and stuff. Pick up some more sunscreen, probably. Back home again, I got my sunscreen. I got the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Oil Free Sunscreen. It's FPS 30. FPS? I'm playing too many video games, that's frames per second. SPF 30. It protecting, protects, softens, and leaves skin radiant. So I'm going to have radiant skin. It's going to be wonderful. 
So there you go, cool beans. Also picked up the lap, it was the laptop stand that we picked up at the post office. We got the Note Pal X Slim silent laptop cooling pad. Cool beans. Fiora's got it underneath the laptop right now. We decided to use it underneath Fiora's because Fiora does more gaming and stuff than mom does and it has a fan underneath it. So it's been plugged in for about 10 minutes. Fiora's playing Skyrim and um, it's definitely cooler. The laptop is noticeably cooler. The air coming out of the exhaust of the laptop is noticeably cooler. So that's cool. So yeah, that's about it thus far. Also, on my way home, rode past the dentist office since it's just down the street from my house and the dentist was just leaving and uh, stopped and asked how I was and so on and so forth. She rides bikes um, just like I do. She's a cyclist like I am. She's riding a bike home for lunch and uh, stopped and asked how I was doing and so on and so forth. So pretty cool. There you go. So I'm just going to have myself some cereal. It's an odd time to eat cereal. I know I'm not a big breakfast guy. I tend to not eat a whole lot in the morning. Not really a morning eater. More of an afternoon, evening eater. I don't really have a big appetite in the morning. So there you go. I'm gonna have some corn brand squares today. Some good old corn brand squares. And I also grabbed a coffee from Tim Hortons because, you know, I'm just downtown. Tim Hortons is right there, so, you know, why not? Cool beans. We'll have some Tim's coffee and some cereal. Watch some more house, probably. The noise in the background is Trista watching The Hundred. So, there you go on Netflix as well. So, there you go. Check with you guys in a bit. See what else is going on. I don't know what else we're going to do today, but, you know, we'll see. Fiora and I are trying to play Minecraft. I say trying to play Minecraft because we keep losing connection between the computers. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure at the moment as of why yet. I think it's Fiora's fault. I'm no. blaming Fiora. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. Are you sure? It's not my fault. Are you sure? Yeah. I think it has something to do with the MacBook Pro. It's the first time we've tried to play LAN on the MacBook Pro and we seem to be having some issues with playing LAN on the MacBook Pro. I have to hold down Option while the computer restarts because it's installing updates. So, why is it not restarting? Fiora? Why is the MacBook not restarting? Fun, fun, fun. Setting up new computers is always frustrating. That's why I'm reluctant to change anything. And part of the reason why I kept the iMac for so long, even though I kind of want to switch to a MacBook Pro before, um, it's, just, it's, it's easier. It's, sometimes you run into these problems and you get these hiccups, and it takes hours to figure out why things won't work. And it's usually something simple, um, like enabling Java through the firewall, or updating Wi-Fi drivers or like your chipset driver for your Wi-Fi or, or something simple like that. It's usually something ridiculous and simple. Um, but sometimes it takes forever to figure out what the exact problem is. Apparently, sometimes it can even be caused by only installing the 64-bit version of Java. Sometimes if you're using Google Chrome, you need to install the 32 and 64-bit versions of Java. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out, but it's somewhat frustrating in the meantime. We've tried to record the lost potato four times now, and we never made it past four minutes without having problems. So, we're working on it, Fiora. We'll get there. You think so? We'll get it working. Eventually. Hopefully. Cool beans, we solved the problem. It turns out it's the wrong boot camp driver. I don't know why, but we figured it out. I followed Brian's advice and deleted the stock boot camp driver for the Wi-Fi chip, restarted Windows, and Windows reinstalled the proper driver for the Wi-Fi chip. So it works now. Fiora and I had recorded uh, like four Minecraft videos the lost potato we got them all recorded worked perfectly 
Uh, once we did that, once we figured that out, it was all good. Cool beans. I still need to get the right boot camp drivers though, because I went to plug in the external hard drive with USB 3 uh, to transfer the footage to the hard drive, because I only have a 80 gig partition for Windows. The footage was 15, so I'm just going to move it off the drive as soon as we finish recording each time. Um, but it, it recognized it as USB 2, not USB 3, so it was only transferring 34 megabits a second, uh, which is not overly fast. It took like 8 minutes to transfer 15 gigs. Uh, which is not slow, but it's not real quick either. It should be faster than that. So I'm still going to have to figure out how to get the right boot camp drivers installed. But, you know, it's, it's working for now. Anyway, at least it works and we can record. So there you go. Cool beans. I'm making some coffee. Fiora is having a little chat and Animal Jam playing session with one of her little friends on the computer. I think we're going to head over to Dairy Queen. Do a little walk over to Dairy Queen, grab some ice cream maybe. Sounds like a cool plan. We did it. We headed out and we decided to go to the Dairy Queen. Every time we've come to a corner, there's been an onslaught of cars. I don't know why, but every time we've come to the corner, there's been a ton of cars. There was no cars at the corner at the top of the street until we got there, then there was three. I don't know why, but Fiora decided she doesn't want ice cream. She just came for the walk. No. Fiora doesn't like ice cream. No, you don't like ice cream. I heard you say that. I heard you say, no, I don't want anything. I said I don't want a milkshake. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's not what I heard. Sure, it's the magic of cakes. Cakes. Do you know how old I'm going to be next time? We're getting these. True story. I know you said you wanted these for your birthday this year, but I forgot. Until, like, and then you bought them. And then I bought a cake, and then I dropped it on the floor. It was kind of a fail this year. I enjoyed it. You enjoyed me yeah. dropping it? I think it's just, it brought some fun. And dramatics. All right. Well, that's something, you know? They have a Reese. Yeah, they have a Reese one, too. They have a Reese one, too. I went with a Kit Kat blizzard this time. I usually get the score blizzard. I thought the crunchy pieces maybe not a great idea when I'm still supposed to be eating soft foods. So I had some more cereal for supper. It was very unfilling and unsatisfying. But uh, there's Fiora's chocolate shake. It's better than the other day anyway, because Friday night and Saturday, the only thing I ate the entire day was ice cream. Uh, so, well, no, that's not true. I had a chicken salad sandwich on Saturday. I chopped the chicken up real small, diced up some onion real small. It took me 10 minutes to eat it because it just took that long to chew it. But there you go. What are you looking at? Hockey cakes? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Photo cake. It's so cool. I got a lot of cakes, Fiora. This is, this is what you guys should get. Graduation so? cake? Why? Why? No one's graduating. When it's Okay, in four years, when you graduate grade eight, you can have a graduation they cake. They have all these How's patterns. Yeah. They should have a tartan pattern. You know, we live in oh, Canada. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's happening right now. Not next time. We got our Dairy Queen. Time to head home. Enjoy our Dairy Queen. Almost time for bed. This little girl has school tomorrow. And I gotta edit this vlog. So that's pretty much gonna do it for this week's Muse Day vlog. I get to go to a play at school. You get to go to a play at school? Big Kid Entertainment. That'll be pretty cool. Are you gonna walk backwards all the way home? No. I'll just do it right now. Just for, for now. Okay, cool beans. We didn't make it to people in the park this week. Maybe next week. That's okay. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this week's vlog, I think. Not a whole lot happening today. It's kind of an easy rest day after my dentist capades on the weekend. Dental capades. Dense capades? Dense capades. No, not at all. Cool beans, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in next week's Muse Day vlog. Bonus clip Thursday. I promise I'll make a bonus clip Thursday this week when I skipped it last week.
Hopefully, because I gotta go back to the dentist again on Wednesday, so hopefully I'm not too sore on Thursday. Hopefully, you know, yeah. They take it off? Yeah. Oh. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next week.